Thank you for me. Hey, left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Oh, no time to waste. Get going. I mean, except you. Well, never said anything helpful here, but I'm gonna do it anyway because. Wait, this. What do you think we should do now, Maya? We've done best, Nick. Just do what you do. It should work. <laughs> well, had any good ideas? This is all tied to the DL6 incident. We better find out as much as we can about that murder before tomorrow. Something that happened back then has a hold on Edgeworth and it won't let go. Grossberg. Number 27, Grossberg Loft. Out. In. What does he work anyway? Now, now, don't be harsh. Guess we'll have to come back later. Or Snoop. And Snoop. Solid mahogany deck. Wood's been polished to a deep luster. Gonna be a This letter? Hmm. This came out of the safe in the shack where that boat rental caretaker lives. Yeah. Hmm. Benj. Me. Is that old guy anyway? I don't know. Would he be an innocent defendant who got declared guilty or something? I mean, he could be a guilty defendant that he got declared guilty. Nice one. I don't remember that old man. Oh. Who's following this letter then? Which means there was someone else behind it. What is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life? Two men. Myself. What happened? Also says this is your last chance. Last chance? Wait, maybe. Maybe you just think about the statute of limitations on the DL6 incident. Wait, that man. What is it? You know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Yogi? Prospect in the DL6 and Rose found innocent. Mm. Johnny Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. Quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. There for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned, and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. Help! I can't breathe! Quiet, I said. Quiet, you're not making this any easier. I wanna get out! Help! Get us out! Shout, you deserve more oxygen. Mm. All I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed, throwing up the sea. Poor Tony Yogi's mental condition was called into question. The oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the king passed the cord and Yogi was found innocent. Huh. Isn't that strange? The letter tells him to 
revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? Right. Yeah. Something has been troubling me these last few days. I don't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare? It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed? A memory of a murder. I think... I think the time has come to tell all. The last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. Kind of dream. I dream about my father's killing. Dark. Help, I can't breathe. Quiet. Quiet. I'm making this any easier. Make it out! Help! Get us out! Shout! Use up more oxygen. I can't breathe! You, you're using up my air! What? Breathing my air? I'll, I'll stop you! Ah! What? What are you. Stop breathing my air! Oh, father! Attacking father! <clears throat> I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court, bailiffs. Days, I pick up the pistol. Get away! Get away from my father! With that scream, wake. The bone chilling scream. Scream that has rung in my ears for the past fifteen years. Mm. But that's just a dream, right? Right? Mm. That thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last fifteen years. What if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. What? Think about it that way. This better make sense. Revenge on Mouse Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge on me. Wait, Edgeworth, you, you mean... It was me. I was the true criminal of the L6. I shot my father. This is bad. What are we gonna do, Nick? What can we do? Don't know. Don't think there is anything we can do. Why or not? There's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe? Hmm. There it is, Nick. There's someone else who knows about DL6, Rosberg. How is he here? Number 27, Rosberg Law. Mr. Grossberg? Hello there, what's wrong? You look troubled. I'm kidding. I can't believe you're not. My, my, my. Just calm down and tell me what's happened, hmm? It's me, Mr. Edgeworth. He, he... He... Oh, Edward dreamt he shot his own father. Only a dream. Only a dream! Hmm. I wonder... What? If that's the case, then why do you two look so troubled, hmm? 
so. Also, consider this. It would be quite certain if Walter did draw to them to mark the door. Or did he want to frame him for murder? This leads me to surmise that Mr. Edgar's dream was not a dream, it was real, as you imagined. Miles Edgar threw the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired, and he was thumb. Believe it. Nobody was suspected of murder. His career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrecked. Also sought revenge on Miles Edward. This was his last chance, of course. That would be suspicious. Close. Gregory Edward. What do you know about Edward's father? Hmm. The defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's true. Well, we may have had one beer now that I think about it. Your mentor, Mia Faye. My sister? Gregory Edward was very disapproving of Mr. Von Karma's techniques. That's no surprise. Von Karma is an extreme man, forged testimonies and evidence. Nothing to him. As a result, he has a perfect win record in the court. Beat him, Gregory Edward tried to call attention to his methods. And? He lost. And died in despair as well. He... When Gregory Edward was killed, the police called a spirit me. That was your mother, Misty Fett. Gregory Edgeworth been killed. One who shot me, the bailiff, Yana Yogi. Yana Yogi was found innocent. That's when my mother left us. Everyone called her a fraud. That's why. Everyone thought she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, it seems the one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. He was in the dark, too. Don't believe it. You're saying he falsified his testimony? That Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son? Inconceivable. It's only a possibility, Mike. But a possibility nonetheless. Boy. Found it in. Oh, so this is the letter. It does seem that Yoki was following this letter when he killed Hammond. I killed Robert Hammond. Hammond was a skilled defense attorney, but he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Ah, huh? his own sake? He never trusted his clients. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. He got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for no one. No. Yogi was a free man, but socially ruined. Ah. Huh. You'll understand soon enough. Wait. Is it? Butter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before, a long time ago. Whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? Um, what would happen? Maybe it's worth it. The guy himself. It'd be Von Karma? Hmm. Would it be Manfred Von Karma? Von Karma? Does he have something to do with this? Um, well, I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm? On Karma. On Karma. Oh, wait, you're right, my boy. This is on Karma's handwriting, I'm sure of it. I used to see it all the time on court reports. What? But, but that means... The, the one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Manfred von Karma himself. What does this mean, then? 
Why would Von Karma want to frame Edward? If it truly was Von Karma who wrote this letter, then he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edward had accidentally killed his own father. Hmm? He'll say as much tomorrow in court, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edward guilty. Oh no! So how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edward's past like that? Even Mr. Edward thought it was just a nightmare? Hmm, that I do not know. Yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and perfectionist. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edward by hurting his son. And what does it mean? It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edward at court, and Von Karma did win. But he didn't make it through the trial on Scott. happened in a trial between Edward's dad and Von Karma. Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial. But Gregory Edward accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Edward's accusation stood. Faulty evidence? It was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edward dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Ah. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation several months after that, you see. Vacation? Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecution. Really? He didn't take vacations? Like, look at the sea or out to the mountains? Don't tell me he's never been to Europe. Have strange ideas about vacation, Tyre. In any case, that was the only time I took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, then why would he take such a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? When Karma's gonna bring up DL6, you can bet on it. But if Mr. Edward pleads guilty to DL6? I won't let him. Um, yes, Mr. Wright. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder. You I know that. Uh, I, I just believe in Edward's innocence. I can't believe he killed someone. But Nick, Mr. Edward admits it himself. His father must have lied to protect him. From beyond the grave. Don't care. No, he's not guilty. <clears throat> Mr. Wright. If you say so, I suppose I could go check again. The police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg. Thank you. Can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. Police materials. Hmm. I have police materials. I have the DL6 file. This incident took place 15 years ago tomorrow. No 28. Right? But tomorrow we'll see the completion of not one, but two trials. All thanks to the statute of limitation. However, I'm afraid the damage the DL6 incident has done with that. To December 27, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for the old guy, Yogi. Ah, it's you. I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. He's staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real. Um, we were wondering if we could check out the records room again. 
Well, no, I can't have just anyone wandering around in there. But I guess Mr. Von Karma is in there now, anyway. I'm going in as long as he's there. Karma? Yes, he just arrived, actually. Von Karma's in the records room? Teak, let's hurry! <laughs> Twenty-seven. Please. As always, we were only here just yesterday. I'm sure they just haven't had time to clean. Hmm. Funny. Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. From Karma. Hmm. Oh, I get to examine the place. What have we got in this? Viciously open cabin. Huh? One of the drawers here is open. Someone must have been looking in it recently. The label says, Unsolved Cases, Evidence. Hmm. Unsolved Cases? Nick! Time for deal six. Completely empty. What? What are you doing in here? <laughs> Karma! Do? Hmm. How do you know my name? Huh? Have we met? What are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edwards' defense team. Defense team? And, I beg your pardon, you see, I rarely remember defense attorneys. They're like bugs to me, needless things to be crushed. You can see how this guy was Edward Mentor. <laughs> uh, um, Mr. Edward is your student, right? Hmm. A romanticist who still can't shed that veneer of amount amateurism. Just like his father, always second rate. Mr. Von Karma. You had an axe to grind with Mr. Gregory Edward, didn't you? He a grudge against a mere defense attorney. Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record? Hmm. So you did. But what I don't get is... Why did you take his son under your wing afterward? The son of your most bitter rival. But my dear attorney is none of your business. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a defense attorney last this long. Still, you will lose in the end. Miles Edward will admit his own guilt. Built of 15 years ago, you mean? Quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edgeworth will tell the court tomorrow. We were right. The Von Karma is going to bring up the L6 in court tomorrow. Oh. We'll show him something. No, we don't do it. <laughs> I wonder how he would respond to me, waving things like this in his face. Ooh. I think I must be able to give you a defense of the information file. Me? He isn't going to tell us things, according to him. Is there anything else to check on here? Let's draw again. This large drawer is half open. The label on the drawer reads unsolved cases evidence. All the stuff in here looks like my dumb. Only the evidence for the DL6 instance is missing. Do you know? Guess who took it to do my karma? Else anywhere? There are shelves stuffed with case files in the back of the room, too. Forgotten cases rotting away for eternity. 
Nick, let's do what we need and get out of here. This dust is getting to me. Here are files of collected case reports. There's quite a lot of volume of reports here. Wow, more case reports? Yeah, it's like a graveyard of police case. Yes, my sister's case report is in there too. I have the gathering dust. This cabinet is where they keep evidence for current cases. Some of the things are obviously murder weapons, others are questions. Most of it just looks like random fun. Hey, what do you think this clothes pin is for? Don't you touch that. Evidently. Looks like there are files in the case. The case is so dusty I can't see what's inside. Nick, what? You must keep important case files in. Okay. Making sure there is nothing else they want. Not sure me. I probably make it stealth. Can I show him anything that would scare him? Get a response out of him. Mr. Von Karma, have a look at this. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi. How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. Hmm. So you admit it? You, you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter. Yes, my dear defense attorney. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? Nick, what is that thing? A stun gun. For self-defense, usually. Indeed. It's hundred thousand volts will force through your body like a dog touching an electric fan. Say hundred thousand! Oh, don't worry, people don't die from it, usually. I'll give me the letter. No! No! Whoa, what are you? Nick, run! Ah! He's Maya. Maya! Out of my way. Hmm. Mm. Ah, got us. The letters. Gone, of course. And he took the DL6 evidence. All of it. Back to having no clues. Wait, Maya jumped first. Maya! Hey? Mm. Maya? Maya, open your eyes. Maya. Hmm? Did he take it? Huh? Oh, yeah. Are you okay? Hmm. I couldn't stop him. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. Yeah, you're useless because you can't survive a taser. Come on. <laughs> Stun gun, whatever. They're all mark mark. No good as a lawyer or a medium. Can't even call my sister. Not even now when we need her the most. Wish I hadn't woken up at all. Be some way I can help her. I better do something about her self confidence first. Hmm. Maya? She's old 
building something. That. Pull it. DL6 Evidence number seven. Taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember. Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped in. Deal six bullets stashed in the pocket. Taken from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. Still bears clear ballistic market. I'll prove it to you, Maya. Or most definitely not you. Prove it to you in court tomorrow. Boy. <laughs>